stats. Excellent. <laughs> Adventure. Oh yeah. Hi guys. How's it going? So we are currently in Casa Grande, Arizona, and it's in southern region, not far from between Phoenix and Tucson. And we are exploring the old downtown, historic downtown Casa Grande today. So it's a cute little town. It is um, a holiday, so I'm not sure if anything's open, but we're gonna walk around and check things out also. And before we get going, we just wanna thank everybody that reached out to us uh, with their their messages and, and uh, well and wishes and um, about what happened with the whole uh, pit bull attack. Uh, we really appreciate the support and uh, we're gonna do something upbeat again because uh, we never let stuff get us down for long. Yeah. Right, Steffi? Yeah, and Lulu and I are both on the men, so we're going to move forward in the adventure. So let's go check this place out and see what it's let's all about. Let's do it. downtown Casa Grande and there's all sorts of little shops, cafes, restaurants. Looks like an old movie theater here. Yes, and this Paramount Theater is famous. Isn't this cool? Yeah, the whole like ticket day. Day. Yeah, yeah. Two tickets, 35 cents. Wouldn't we'll that see be gone nice? with the wind or something, right? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, right? So behind us is a really cool display we're about to show you. And basically what we have here behind us is all the doors that were on these original buildings that have been replaced. They took the doors off and repurposed them and, and used them as an art display. So they had all these different artists um, paint whatever they wanted to paint on them, whatever their thoughts were on it. And uh, we'll show you this whole wall, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, this was done in um, 2013 as a part of a uh, reclamation of downtown. They were trying to turn downtown into a hip, fun place to be. How cool is the Southwest? Jeff, which one of these is your favorite? So this is my favorite one. It's the Duke, John Wayne. Hey. And most people of a certain age, everybody knows who John Wayne is, but a lot of people don't anymore because he's been gone a long time. But as a kid, I grew up watching John Wayne movies, and uh, just a great actor and uh, a great American. And uh, who doesn't like the two? Yeah, that one's awesome. Awesome.
remember the uh, Neon Sign Museum in Vegas? Yeah, I love the Neon Sign Museum. Did you know that there's another one? No. I know where it is. You do? Yeah, hey, you want to me show you? All right, let's go take a look. Okay. So this Dairy Queen sign at this little neon museum place here, um, was actually on the original Route 66. And it may not look like much, but it's historic because it was on Route 66. There's also a little ice cream cone over here. Motel was the first hotel in Casa Grande. It's Casa Grande. Casa Grande. Okay, that offered air conditioning in the hotel, and air conditioning was so coveted back in the day that visitors would come and after they experienced air conditioning, some for the first time would stay there for up to a month just to stay inside, enjoy cool air conditioning. Casa Grande Photoshop was operated by a man named Jim Gomez and he's an acclaimed photographer and although we don't know much about him I'm sure if you google him uh, he'll come up he was a well-known photographer in the area Ralph's Cafe was owned by a gentleman named Ralph Honeycutt, and it was a 24-hour uh, roadside cafe, similar to something that you would see on Highway 66, but it was actually on the Tucson Highway. And you could go there, and they were known for having the best chicken and steaks around. This is the original Arizona Edison sign from 1929. And originally there was two of these, one on each side of the original Edison building. Uh, this is the only one that is left today. And here it is. So, so uh, Steph, how did you like this? This is super Neon cool. Museum. Yeah, this Neon Park here in Casa Grande is really cool. There's a lot of history and they all have historical plaques. Um, the town started this park as a revitalization uh, effort for the town, and it's really neat to walk around. It's just pretty, and their plantings and landscapings here are immaculate. And it's really cool because you see all these old pictures back in the day, the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and you see these roadside buildings on the side of highways and things like that, and they have these super cool neon signs. And, uh, you know, in the picture, you're like, wow, that's, that's kind of cool. But to walk <laughs> up on these and look at them, it's fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, and we are going to come back and check this out at night because we've seen pictures, and I'm sure it doesn't do it any justice. So we're going to come back here at night and we'll get lit? Yeah, get lit.
but now it's a museum. Yes. But what a beautiful building. It is. And it's one of only four of these cobblestone buildings still standing, the original buildings. And it was built in 1927. And they used the cobblestone because it was a local material and it was inexpensive and easy to come by. And there's no trees here. Yeah. Palm trees. So these cobblestone buildings are very cool and unique to this area. Do you want to know what this uh, machine is behind us over the fence? Right what is that? there. You want to know what that is? Yes. That there is a Van Severin two-cylinder diesel engine. Oh. Look at the pistons on that thing. Now, I don't know why it's there, but it's cool. It is cool. Yeah. Um, they do have a museum attached to the building, but they're closed today. What it's, the heck? It's President's Day, so we'll have to try to come back another day when they're closed or open so we can go inside. This is another one of the stone buildings here in Casa Grande. It was the women's club and it was built in 1924. Um, this is one of the only two that are still standing here right now. Well, Steph, we had a good time in yeah. Old Town, Casa Grande, Arizona. Yeah, there's a lot of neat um, historical buildings and things to see around here. Um, this women's club is now currently a theater and um, there's a list of show times. They do all kinds of performances here. You can come check them out. And we have enjoyed our day exploring here. And how cool is the Southwest? and all these little old towns that they're revitalizing, bringing back to their original luster. Yeah, this is small town America all over and we are getting to see all these great places and, you know, experiencing a piece of history. That is something everyone should get to do. And thank you once again to our subscribers, our families, and our friends, and coming up, in the next month, a very big announcement of something that we are doing. Wow, how's have to that wait for that. a teaser? It's gonna be epic. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool, so stay tuned. Steph? Steph. Jeff's. <laughs> Excellent. Adventure. Yes. Thanks for coming along with us. We love you guys. Yes. Take care, everyone. Safe travels. See ya. Bye. Bye. So we came back at night or at, after sunset so we can show you the neon park in the evening when they light it up. Hey, Steph, want to get lit? Yeah. Let's do it. We'll and show you these cool signs. Spinning. Jeff, he loves his ice cream. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a neat sign.